Hey, I'm Tommy Gunn from Cracked Rabbit Gaming. I'm going to show you how to calibrate Rock Band 2 completely manually. If you have the new Strat controller with the sensors in them, then obviously you don't need to do this, although you may want to tweak your settings a little bit and it helps to know exactly what the calibration settings are doing. Here's the Rock Band screen. You have a video of notes scrolling down the screen and you hit them when they hit this bar. You also have audio that ideally is synced up perfectly with the video, so the notes hit and you hear the sound at the same time. However, depending on your system, there can be a delay so they get unsynced and you see the note hit first and then hear the music or the other way around where you hear the music and then the note hits. This is bad. We can fix this with the Rock Band 2 calibration, however we're not going to use the automatic calibration that they give you, where you hit in time to the needle going back and forth, and so on. We're going to do this completely manually, testing, retesting, and changing the numbers. Now, we can adjust the video and the audio calibration separately. However, there is a third thing that you can't adjust directly, which is the hitbox. Now, in the perfect situation, all three are lined up, and this allows you to hit slightly early or slightly late, and it'll still count the hit. So how do we calibrate Rock Band 2? Well, here's a good method. Completely remove the audio by muting your TV or turning it down all the way if the mute icon gets in the way. We only want to focus on the video and the hitbox. So the first step of the calibration is to find out where the hitbox is in relation to the video. So go into Quick Play or Drum Trainer and hit purposely early and purposely late because you want to find out where it gives you a hit and where it gives you a miss. In my case, the hitbox was forward so I could hit much earlier than the note and it would count it, but if I hit even a little bit late, it would miss. So. Once you find out where it is, we're going to try to correct it and then test it again to make sure it's correct. What you need to know is that towards you is positive and away from you is negative. These are the settings we're going to use when adjusting the video and audio later. So in my case, the hitbox was too far forward, so I needed to pull the video forward to match up, which means I needed to add numbers to the video. So try 10 or 20 at a time, depending on how far away it is. If it's just one note's worth, you might just try 10 at a time. And so that should pull it forward a little bit, and then you want to test it again, and keep testing it. Now remember, since this view is skewed, it's kind, it might be a little hard to tell how far away it is, since you're not looking straight down on the notes. But do your best, and try to figure out where the center of that hitbox is, and get it lined up perfectly. So keep testing that until you get it where you think it's right. Once you have that perfectly synced, now we can focus on the audio. So to unmute the TV and bring the audio back in. Now we don't know where this audio is going to be. So what we need to do is find that out and it helps a lot if you have a second person. What they should do is watch the screen and what you should do if you're playing is play to the music. Don't look at the screen at all, if possible. Close your eyes or just look away and keep hitting with the beat. This of course helps if it's a simpler song that's easy to memorize or has a steady beat. So play in time with the music and have your friend watch where you hit, you're hitting. Are you hitting late or are you hitting early? That should tell you where the audio is in relation to the video and the hitbox now that you have it synced up. So if you're hitting early, then you need to subtract from the audio calibration settings. So go into the audio and manually set it and just remove 10 or 20 from that. Then test it again. This part is difficult. Sometimes it's really hard to tell how far away the audio is. If you have a second person, it might be easier. Alone it's pretty tough. You could even set up a video camera to tape the screen if you're serious about this and then you can watch the replay and see where you're hitting. Remember, we're talking about milliseconds here. If 
5 or 10 or 20 milliseconds. So it can be very difficult to just eyeball this. But you have to just keep trying until you find it a spot that just feels right. And then you have it synced up. There's one more problem though. If you're using different types of instruments, for instance a wireless guitar but wired drums, or the other way around, the new wire, wireless drums and a wired guitar, or any combination, even if they're all wireless or all wired, they may not have the same settings. They may have separate lag. As of this recording, there's no way to change the calibration per instrument. You can only do it once. So you can think of the hitbox as being controller lag. Now, let's say I have this calibrated for my drums, because that's what I primarily play. So as soon as I hit it, I hit right as the note hits, and it's perfect for me. But somebody else has slightly more lag on the guitar, for instance. So they'll hit at the exact same time, but since they have a slight bit of lag, it doesn't hit till slightly after. The game doesn't know that you've pressed the button. This is fine if it's pretty close, but let's say there's a lot of lag and they hit just slightly after, it'll actually wait until here to register the hit, which means they'll miss the note when really they should have hit it because they were only off by a little bit, but the lag pushed them too far. So what we need is a way to adjust the hitbox per instrument to adjust to compensate for the lag. But as I said, there's no way of doing that right now. So what you can do is try to find a happy medium. If you know that the, the drum hits here and the guitar hits here, you can try to set it kind of in between. Or you can just set it to whoever's the best. <laughs> if one person is always playing on easy or medium, maybe it's not as important for them to be perfectly in sync. So there you go. That's Rock Band 2 Calibration. I hope this has been helpful and you get your systems calibrated perfectly.